Life is not a spectator sport. If you're going to spend your whole life in the grandstand just watching what goes on, in my opinion, you're wasting your life. It kills me to lose. If I'm a troublemaker, and I don't think that my temper makes me one, then it's because I can't stand losing. That's the way I am about winning, all I ever wanted to do was finish first. Many people resented my impatience and honesty, but I never cared about acceptance as much as I cared about respect. The black press, some liberal sports writers, and even a few politicians were banging away at those Jim Crow barriers in baseball. I never expected the walls to come tumbling down in my lifetime. When I look back at what I had to go through in black baseball, I can only marvel at the many black players who stuck it out for years in the Jim Crow leagues because they had nowhere else to go. I guess you'd call me an independent since I've never identified myself with one party or another in politics. I always decide my vote by taking as careful a look as I can at the actual candidates and issues themselves, no matter what the party labels, my protest about the post-exchange seating bore some results. More seats were allocated for blacks, but there were still separate sections for blacks and for whites. At least I had made my men realize that something could be accomplished by speaking out, and I hoped they would be less resigned to unjust conditions. I cannot salute the flag, I know that I am a black man in a white world. In 1972, in 1947, at my birth in 1919, I know that I never had it made. Today, Negroes play in every big league club and in every minor league. With millions of other Negroes from other walks of life, we are willing to stand up and be counted for what we believe in. In baseball or out, we are no longer willing to wait until Judgment Day for equality, we want it here on earth as well as in heaven. I had no future with the Dodgers because I was too closely identified with Branch Rickey. After the club was taken over by Walter O'Malley, you couldn't even mention Mr. Rickey's name in front of him. I considered Mr. Rickey the greatest human being I had ever known. A new breed of Republicans has taken over the GOP. It is a new breed that is seeking to sell to Americans a doctrine that is as old as mankind, the doctrine of racial division, the doctrine of racial prejudice, the doctrine of white supremacy, 